mission complete. 50 days without sugar, without uh, white wheat flour, without dairy products and also without non-eco meat. So how did it go and what's next? Mm. Hey, hey, welcome to Journey to Freedom's channel. My name is Armin and I'm inspiring people by sharing my journey in transforming my own life. And if you too would like to live a better life by changing your mindset and live more up to your potential, the first thing you can do is to hit that subscribe button and bell icon next to it. Then start watching my videos and of course take action. I like to create public challenges for myself to know my limits and uh, realize my full potential and sometimes to make some changes happen in uh, my life. I'm making them uh, public because uh, public pressure gives me much more motivation uh, to stick to the challenge and uh, finish it. Plus uh, by making those public I hope to inspire, inspire others to make a change in their life too. My last challenge was about cutting off uh, dairy products, white wheat uh, flour, sugar and non-eco meat for 50 days. And I did that uh, challenge uh, because of my health problems. I have a problem with my gut. I feel a constant uh, bloating in my, in my stomach whenever I start to eat something. So that's why I decided to try to be 50 days without uh, those mentioned uh, ingredients and see does it have any effect on my overall well-being and does it help uh, with my gut uh, problem. But unfortunately, after 50 days, I'm not feeling any change. I pushed myself to stick to this uh, challenge for 50 days and I'm not seeing any results actually. So what now? What, uh, what's next? And uh, I'm starting another challenge and actually I have already started another challenge. And this is a, a celery uh, juice challenge because uh, celery is the magic pill, at least it should be, magic pill for gut health and especially against uh, bloating or any uh, similar uh, gut problems. So with that challenge I hope to get rid of this uh, problem. And I'm going to make a separate video where I go more into details uh, why celery juice uh, is helping with uh, bloating and what it uh, does to your uh, body. So why it is good to drink it. And this video is uh, coming out uh, very soon, so stay tuned for that video. Anyway, now back to this video. Uh, so what was the hardest component uh, to stay away and what was the food I missed the most during this uh, 50 days? And uh, I have made already a separate video where I'm uh, talking about those uh, things and where I'm also enjoying myself eating uh, one of those forbidden uh, foods. And uh, now I would like to share that video with you. So enjoy it. So 50 days without sugar, without uh, white wheat flour, without dairy products and also without non-eco meat. And now is the first day when I can again allow to eat uh, those things. Of course I'm not going to go crazy and start eating a lot of them. I still uh, continue limiting uh, the intake of those uh, products, especially dairy products, I'm uh, going more like a farmer's market. And uh, today I'm having my meal, so I have a buckwheat with uh, fish. I don't know the English name, I couldn't find the translation of it. The Estonian translation is Hebe uh, Heik. And I have uh, added some butter, because uh, buckwheat with butter tastes much, much better. And uh, then uh, I have two more things which uh, I really liked before I started the challenge. One is uh, bread, again with uh, butter, and it, uh, this butter has uh, salt crystals in it. But the bread is, uh, this is one of the best breads I have uh, found. If you live in Estonia, this is uh, how it looks. 
And actually, if I uh, check this uh, ingredients of this uh, bread, there is no white sugar in it. There's a uh, rye uh, flour, then uh, also seeds and uh, dark sugar syrup. So now know that white uh, sugar, which I wanted to take out of my menu. So actually, I could uh, even eat this before, but I wanted to cut uh, cut off all the sugars when I know that the sugar has been added inside. So that's why I haven't uh, read this, <laughs> haven't eaten this uh, bread. And if you are wondering how I uh, sweeten my uh, things, so let's say porridge, which I'm uh, usually making almost every morning, I using uh, this uh, stevia leaves uh, extract. This is green powder. I will take a little bit. So this is how it looks, and it's. Uh, couple of hundred times uh, more sweeter than uh, regular sugar and of course it's healthy and uh, it, uh, it is uh, taken from uh, leaves which, uh, which are growing in uh, Brazil, so Southern America. And lastly I will try one uh, sweet, so no sweets for me for 50 days. Actually there was uh, one sweet that I could, found, could find which uh, didn't have any sugar or any sweeteners, sweeteners inside, just uh, the fructose of uh, fruits, so natural uh, sugar in that. So this was the only thing I could uh, eat during this uh, challenge. So I'm really f looking forward to eat this one and I'm going to share the experience of eating this with you too. So now let's start eating. and. The bread, which I have missed quite a long time. And also, I haven't eaten any butter during these 50 days. Mm. <laughs> I really like this butter because it is with uh, salt crystals, like I said. And this bread also. I usually eat this bread without anything. I just take it as it is and I'm just eating it because it's so tasty. But with uh, butter, it's even more, more tastier. Mm. <laughs> and also buckwheat with butter. And yes, immediately I noticed the difference. Uh, because during the challenge I used uh, coconut oil. I added coconut oil to the buckwheat. But now I had added again butter, so the taste is immediately different. And of course it tastes better. But like I said, I would like to uh, limit the intake of dairy products of those big, big companies. I uh, will go and uh, buy butter from local uh, farmers market. Hopefully I can uh, find good, good quality butter from there. Okay, so we are ready to eat that uh, sweet. So let's crack it open. And uh, what is it? It's, uh, it's uh, nuts with uh, berries and with little dark chocolate. As, as far as I remember, it's really, really, really tasty. Ah, oh, chocolate. Mm. Mm. Getting my senses heightened so I can really enjoy it. Although I cannot hold it uh, too long because it starts to melt already between my fingers. So let's take the first bite after 50 days. <clears throat> First I thought, okay, it's not actually that good, but uh, then the aftertaste kicked in and I immediately rem remembered how good it is. Pretty good feeling. Mm. After this I'm going to restrict again myself for 50 days. Of course I'm uh, kidding. The challenge was to uh, know that can I, can I resist it? Can I resist all those uh, sweets? And uh, this challenge really made a difference, uh, especially if when I'm when I have went to parties, and I cannot eat any cake or or something, because previously it was really my my weakness. I just took piece after piece after piece, and uh, yesterday we had a, a na national holiday because of the birthday of Estonia, and uh, it was my forty. It was my 50th day, so we had the thought 
maybe I should make it shorter, make it 49 days, so I, we can celebrate uh, the birthday of our country and we can uh, buy some cake. But then I said, no, I made the challenge for 50 days, so I'm going to end it at 50, so no, no any shortcuts there. And uh, <clears throat> this challenge wasn't actually that hard that I first uh, thought it will be. The biggest uh, problem uh, was sugar. Not that I card for sugar, but uh, it was so hard to find uh, products or meals uh, without any sugar, without any added sugar. Because, uh, for example, all those breads also have uh, sugar in them. And uh, what I would have maybe wanted to eat the most was uh, dairy products, especially cheese. And uh, there is a <clears throat> Estonian, uh, we call it kohu beam. And uh, this is like pasta from dairy, some, some sweet, just kind of uh, pasta. Not the pasta like, uh, like macaroni, but uh, the other kind of pasta. So yes, uh, during the challenge, dairy products were the hardest to keep myself away. Because before the challenge, I added cheese to so many uh, foods when I cooked something. Because cheese makes, it makes the food so, so tasty. But yes, the challenge is now done. Let's see, will I feel something in my stomach also if I finish eating this? little sweet and like I said previously I'm not I'm still gonna limit the intake of those uh, products and try to go with uh, as natural as, as possible anyway I think that's it for this video there are more challenges uh, coming in the future some of them are quite interesting challenges which I would like to do so stay tuned for those videos and I will see you in the next video so take care peace and much love to all bye bye Phew.